I'm going to share with you a way to make your own articulated spines for the uh, game changer. What I have here is you'll see I have some stainless steel wire. Uh, the diameter is 18 gauge wire or 0 0.030. I've gone as heavy as 0 0.050, but after that it gets a little too heavy and it'll break the jaws on the tool that I'm about to show you. Anyway, this tool is called a looper. And what you do, what it is, is you'll find it on Amazon or Joann's or Michael's. And I'm going to, we're going to create two different kinds of, of loops on this wire. Uh, a closed loop and a R loop. How this works is you take that wire and thread it through the jaws. You'll see there's a little hole on that back side and you'll You'll thread it through the jaws and into that hole. All right, and squeeze the jaws, and it'll actually trim the excess. And do this slow, but there you go. And then you continue to squeeze, and it creates that little loop. Now you're going to have to take a pair of pliers, and sometimes it doesn't line up properly, but to close, you just need to use the pliers to close the loop and to maybe move that stem a little bit so it lines up a little better. You see how it closes up? Now, you can make any, what's cool about this, you can make any size shaft that you want. And we're going to do a little small one this time. But you cut off what you don't need, and then you bend the wire at a 90 degree angle at 90 degrees from the loop. All right, see how that, that end sticking up is at 90 degrees and also 90 degrees from the other loop? Now you place it back in the jaws, but you don't thread it through that hole. And what it does is it'll create another loop, an R loop. And once again, you may have to make slight adjustments just to uh, get that thing to line up properly. Just a slight bend. And then you're going to trim some excess off, or you can just tie it in, but I, I prefer to cut off the excess. Now I'm going to take my pliers again and close that loop just a little bit more. And see now you've got that R loop and you've got that closed loop. And you can make any size that you want. 